tight base, tight base now when we have a modulation, so augmented fourth, how to use the augmented fourth. Let's discover it together in this video. Welcome to this new video. I am Ricardo Semusicus Practicus and today in this video we continue our journey through Insanguine and we talk about the we're gonna talk about the augmented fourth. So when do you have to use an augmented fourth in a partimento and how do you have to use the augmented fourth? Which rule do you have to follow in order to use it properly? Let's talk about this. So we um, talked last time, last time we talked, oh, <laughs> we talked, uh, so yeah, I don't know, uh, maybe you don't like, I don't know if you <laughs> like news, but sometimes they happen. And um, we talked about the tight base partimento legato in Italian and how it works in um, so in uh, so with augmented with the fourth augmented perfect and augmented fourth. Last time we focused on the quarta minore, so the minor fourth, which is the perfect fourth. And today we focus we're gonna focus on the um, quarta maggiore, which is the augmented fourth. It's, this is not the literal translation because the ancient musician used the musicus uh, antiquus used to call the, um, the quarta minore, so the our perfect fourth quarta minore, and the, so our augmented fourth quarta maggiore. And as you can see, it's, it's true, quarta minore, perfect fourth is minore, more little than uh, is, um, uh, is uh, how can I say? Yeah, more little than the than the uh, major or uh, major fourth or augmented fourth. Now here we have another partimento using the augmented fourth, and the augmented fourth always wants the, as you remember, the major sixth. We are in B flat major, so we have this. We have the tight bass in this point. Augmented fourth with the major sixth, as you can see, and then we have this. Another very important thing I didn't uh, I didn't say last time is um, about the PSR rules. When we talked about dissonances, I explained to you how the PSR rule preparation, suspension, resolution work works, but. Since we have a suspension in the bass, now how does the PSR rule work in this case? That's very simple. The consonant note, so the consonant chord that we are putting here is the preparation. We have the suspension in the tight bass with 2 4 6, which is a suspension phase, and then resolution here, so quite simple. And then after this, um, we continue with other numbers, so let's play the first bar. <laughs> another PSR rule in one of the top voices due to this seventh. So and then we have the same thing now in F major to C C uh, major I think or C minor actually. So yes C minor thing so let's focus now on this point let's talk about the melody as I said to you it's very useful to know uh, a solmization and to read music with solmization because this way you can grasp any every elements um, every melodic elements inflection which then has a very important influence to the harmony here in terms of melody we have for example starting with the octave do or ut ut mi, fa, we can say fa because that's not a true modulation. Do, mi, fa, sol. And now we have here our tied notes in the top. Sol, mi, sol, fa, or mi, sol, as you can see. Sol, fa, sol. 
And now the other important counter melody is here. And the very interesting thing you can notice only if you know some musician is that in the first phrase we have Do, Mi, Fa, Sol, Fa, Sol based on the hexachord on the fourth, first degree B flat Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La and the second time you have the same melody in terms of syllables of solmization on the other hexachord the one starting on the fifth degree of a major key so F F ut do re mi fa sol la and so we we have you have do 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 mi fa sol fa sol and then e fa sol fa sol very interesting and you can notice this thing only if you know solmization and then but we don't have other other tight bases exactly the only one the third one is here so in this case as you can see we have something modulating to G minor and we can understand this thanks to the four uh, thanks to the sharp on the fourth so we need the major six which then becomes do re mi fa sol la This time we have the minor version of Mi Fa Mi Fa Sol. Uh, sorry, mm, Mi Fa Sol Fa Sol. The minor version is Fa Sol La. So Fa Sol 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 Fa Sol La Sol La. So the F sharp. Now pay attention to this aspect because I. Can understand that if I say that the minor version is Fa Sol La and the major version is Mi Fa Sol, this can can uh, can be not so clear. Now I explain you. I'm gonna explain you why. So first of all, we have then the seventh La Sol La, and then we have the resolution here eight. Now think to the fonte. In the fonte we have two phases. The first one is minor, and the second one is major. Fa la sol fa, fa la sol fa sol la, fa la sol fa sol la, and then la sol fa mi fa sol mi, la sol fa mi fa sol the major one, la sol fa sol la the minor one, sol fa mi fa sol the major one in any key in any key any key la sol fa minor sol fa mi major. That's the magic magic of solmization. So if you don't know solmization, you can today learn solmization in a very fun way. That, yeah, that's not so simple at the beginning. Let's be clear. But I studied for this reason a method that can help you from the scratch level uh, to a very good um, uh, master of uh, a very good level of reading with solmization. So you can, if you like, if you want, learn solmization here with the Famit Mi Facts of the Musica. You find the link in the description and. Here on my contest, if you want. So we have. And then the main melodies here are. Do, do, mi, fa, sol, fa, It's not so elegant here to have the fa, so the, the fa followed by this note because we have the augmented second, E flat and F sharp. 
so we can spread this structural counter melody in, uh, into two voices, for example, arriving at this point in the tailor and then in the alto. As you can see. And so the first line and the first half of the second one is goes. follow all the rules you know because as you can see we don't have any kind of tight bass anymore so yeah, this is only one um, chord and this recalls the indujo pattern so kind of the indujo which recalls the indujo 5-6 go in uh, parallel 6 to, la, fa, so, la, fa. and then you have to pay attention to don't play any uh, kind of um, uh, parallel uh, fifths and other motions in the upper voices so because if you play this this passing tone you have you can this parallel fifth. If you're playing basso continuo, figure bass, okay, that, that's not a problem. In composition, pay attention to that, so be aware of what you're playing. This is or what you're writing. I mean, so yes. And then the double cadence at the end, so the majority of these partimenti used to finish with a double cadence, double cadence, double cadence, so, with a long 5th degree bass, sol, do. and now let's read the, this bass with the solmization, which is do, fa, mi, re, la, yeah, fa, la, sol, into adding figurations for example we can add triplets this time so something like this from the beginning to the end. So
let's analyze this point because I need. Okay. I wanted to start with the third, so and so we get. In a very beautiful way, I can say. Ut fa sol re mi fa. Can you sing with your hand? Consider that this method has been used to teach music from the Middle Ages until the early 19th century. All the great musicians whose music captivates and moves us learned the basics of music starting right here with a simple hand that I have drawn on a globe, which encapsulate all the elements of music. The great scale, hexachords, clefs, notes and melodies. Everything in the palm of one hand. It is true that it is not so easy to learn this system at the beginning. It is all based on a series of musical relationships and ratios which are different from modern music theory. The historical sources are written in ancient Italian, making them accessible to only a few. Furthermore, the way the ancients write is not always so clear. However, if you have as passionately curious as I am, and you would love to learn how to sing like a true Renaissance or Baroque musicus practicus, take a look to Fami et me fa estota musica method in English, so it will be very easy for you to understand everything from A to Z. 13 stages that are well organized and ordered. Start from stage 1 and gradually progress to stage 13, following the step-by-step -step order proposed in this journey. Examples, images and practical exercises that visually teach you what to do, how to do it and why to do it. Oh, and in the end, we will do a test together. Learn more here.